Where should you put your money? Better body or better glass? Let's find out. The camera body determines the number of focusing points, frames per second, dynamic range, the buttons and dials you use to change custom settings, and the metering. The lens determines your zoom. It also determines how much you can blur the background and the quality of that background blur known as the bokeh. The lens and camera together determine the detail and sharpness of your picture, the focusing speed, and the grainy noise that you see in low light pictures. Your style of shooting determines which of these traits you care most about. Portrait photographers care most about focusing points, angle of view, background blur, details, and controls. If they shoot weddings or events, they also care about the metering, focusing speed, and low light noise. For low light and portraits, a fast lens with a low f-stop number helps more than a high-end body. Also, the more expensive lens gave us better background blur, which is great for separating your model from the background in portraits. Street photography is more about the subject than the sharpness. Here, a small, inexpensive lens is more discreet. Putting your budget into a better body can get you an incredibly useful tilt screen, faster focusing, better controls, and a silent shutter. Landscape photographers care most about the angle of view, dynamic range, detail, distortion, vignetting, and chromatic aberration. Landscape photographers get the most bang for their buck with an inexpensive body and a great quality lens. Of course, stepping up to a higher megapixel camera can make big prints, but if you pick just one, get the lens first. But you know what will help you even more than good glass? Plane tickets! A cheap camera and lens in Yosemite will produce more interesting and better landscapes than $10,000 worth of gear in your backyard. That's boring. Sports and wildlife photographers care most about the focusing points, frames per second, focusing speed, angle of view, detail, controls, metering, and low light noise. Now we're at the beach to figure out which is the best bang for your buck for action photography. Sandy! For sports, you need to be able to focus quickly on your subject. Both the camera and lens contribute to fast focusing, but in our experience, upgrading to a high-end DSLR makes more of a difference in focusing than upgrading your lens. You also want to take as many pictures per second as possible so that you can pick the perfect moment. The frames per second is determined by the body. This $2,000 Nikon D500 can shoot hundreds of shots without slowing down and 10 pictures per second. With this $400 Nikon D3300, there's a good chance you'd miss the shot because it starts slow and quickly gets even slower. Higher-end bodies also tend to have focusing points spread further around the frame, which allows you to use off-center compositions. A dedicated thumbstick is typical on bodies costing over $1,000, which lets you quickly change the focusing points. For sports, I'd spend my money on a body with higher frames per second and a good focusing system, even if that meant I had to use a less expensive telephoto lens. Can we get a cookie? This is a fun game, right? And you know what the absolute best bang for your buck is? Education. Click subscribe for more free educational videos and check out our book, which starts at only $9.99 with many hours of free video. Even if you hate books, you can still learn. You don't have to worry about the exact models that we're testing. We're testing a theory, and the specific bodies and lenses you choose could be completely different. The cameras and lenses we're testing are representative overall of expensive and inexpensive models. If you want specific recommendations, visit stp.io slash which camera or watch the camera reviews on our channel.